Jennifer Feline here. We're working through Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life. And I'd like to move on to chapter four. Chapter four is entitled, Is It True? Truth is the unchangeable part of me. The question, is it true or real, has two answers, yes and no. Is it true if you believe it to be true? Is it not true if you believe it isn't true? The glass is both half full and half empty, depending on how you look at it. There are literally billions of thoughts we can choose to think. Most of us choose to think the same kinds of thoughts our parents used to think, but we don't have to continue to do this. There is no law written that says we can only think in one way. Whatever I choose to believe becomes true for me. Whatever you choose to believe becomes true for you. Our thoughts can be totally different. Our lives and experiences are totally different. Examine your thoughts. Whatever we believe becomes true for us. If you had a sudden financial disaster, then on some level you may believe you are unworthy of being comfortable with money or you believe in burdens and debt. Or if you believe that nothing good ever lasts, maybe you believe that life is out to get you, or as I all hear so often, I just can't win. If you seem unable to attract a relationship, you may believe nobody loves me or I'm unlovable. Perhaps you fear being dominated as your mother was, or maybe you think people just hurt me. If you have poor health, you may believe illness runs in our family, or that you are a victim of the weather, or perhaps it's, I was born to suffer, or it's just one thing after another. Or you may have a different belief. Perhaps you're not even aware of your belief. Most people really aren't. They just see the outer circumstances as being the way the cookie crumbles until someone can show you the connection between the outer experiences and the inner thoughts, you remain a victim in life. So here's um, some problems on one hand and beliefs on the other column. So one problem, financial disaster. A belief could be, I'm not worthy of having money. A problem could be no friends. And the belief is, nobody loves me. Mm. Maybe a problem is problems with work and the belief, I'm not good enough. A problem could be always pleasing others and a belief, I never get my way. Whatever the problem is, it comes from a thought pattern and thought patterns can be changed. It may, be, it may feel true and it may seem true. All these problems we're wrestling with and juggling in our lives. However, no matter how difficult an issue we are dealing with, it is only an outer result or the effect of an inner thought pattern. If you don't know what thoughts are creating your problems, you're in the right place now because this book is designed to help you find out. Look at the problems in your life and ask yourself, what kinds of thoughts am I having that create this? If you allow yourself to sit quietly and ask this question, your inner intelligence will show you the answer. So how do you feel about that? Do you feel that your thoughts are creating the problems in your life? Can your financial disaster really be from the thought of, I'm not worthy of having money? And that's a touchy subject for us especially in today's economy with layoffs and um, trying to find a good job and not getting paid what we're worth. We often blame the government, blame the economy, blame whatever, blame our boss, blame the company, and we feel that we never are getting paid what our worth is. And despite all of those little factors, which could be true, you know, we are in a recession, it's not as good as it used to be. Are we giving in to the thought that we aren't worthy of having money? Are we giving in to the thought of having a poverty mindset? 
are we allowing our mind to be dominated by those thoughts, to be dominated by scarcity, by lack, by feeling unworthy? And that's something very challenging. So I challenge you today to examine your life, examine the problems that you're having, and see if there can't be a thought that could be changed. See if you're telling yourself some of these negative thoughts. Are you telling yourself, I'm not worthy of having money. Nobody loves me. I'm not good enough. I never get my way. And if you are telling yourself that, think of a good thought to replace that. Think of a positive thought, something to change that with. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, and we'll talk soon.